So this is what I hear a lot. I hear the women say that they want a man who is over six feet tall. The average height for a man is five eight five nine. That's the average. So they want a guy who is above average, but yet, let me see the average weight. The average weight for a woman. It's 170 pounds. That's the average weight. So a person who is above the average weight wants a guy who is, well, let's say less. If the average is 170, you have to be within that 170 range to be average. But if you are high in weight then you are below 170 so you're below average but they want the guy who is above average in height but they are below average in weight so this is what all the guys are doing all the guys who are under six feet they are going to different countries and they're dating women from different places different countries they are known as the passport bros. Passport bros. Okay, these are the passport bros. All of the passport bros are below six feet. I have not seen one passport bro who's above six feet. And a lot of women hate these guys because they're saying, oh, he don't want to date his own or oh. He got to leave the country to get a woman. But the thing is, that guy is not a, accepted by the women in his country because of his height. That guy is short. So he goes to the Philippines to get a woman who is four feet tall. And he's 5'7". So now... He's the taller guy. It makes a lot of sense. It just makes a lot of sense. Because if, when a woman doesn't want a guy who's below six feet and the guy knows that, he's going to stop talking to the women who says that they want a guy who above six feet he's going to go to the women who are shorter who are shorter so that's one of the reasons why passport bros go and fly across all these nations going to different countries overseas dating women in different countries because the women over there are much shorter and not only that they're smaller they're thinner and they're shorter, so they're more compatible. Compatible, compatibility, they're more compatible because they're shorter, four feet, five feet tall, five feet tall. So the passport bros are going to countries to get the short women because the women in their country don't want them because they're too short. And then they come back to their country with their short four feet, five foot woman. And everybody hates him because he went to another country where he's accepted. The thing is acceptance. He's not accepted in his own country by his own women. So he goes to another country And now everybody jealous or everyone's mad at him. Everyone hates him because he went, to, he had to go outside. He had to go outside. I 
outside. And now all the ones who says they want the guy who's six feet tall, they're mad at him. Because he got a shorter woman. <laughs> He's too tall. He's too short to date you. You don't want him. So he go to another country and find somebody who's shorter than him. And now you're mad at him because you feel like he's not dating his kind. But you don't want him because he's too short. Or you don't want him because he don't make a certain amount of money. But now he's with a shorter person or he's with somebody else on the outside and now money is pouring in and he goes from being this broke person to this very rich person or he goes to making six figures or above six figures and now or he or now it's like oh look at him the audacity the audacity he has the audacity and he's in his Mercedes. He's driving his Mercedes and he has the audacity. Oh, I'm tired of these men. I'm tired of these men. It's not fair. It's not fair. And that's real. That's real. That's real. That's what happens. The guy who's short goes and get a shorter woman or goes and get someone who's who's going to accept him for his hype. And she pour positivity into his life. And she speak positive into his life and it builds him up to be bigger on the inside and on what's on the inside is going to reflect on the outside. So now he's making money and he's getting paid because of how he's being treated or that positive energy is flowing to his life and it's having an impact on the outer. It's having an impact on his world. And then he goes from being this broke, short guy to being this rich, paid, short guy. And it's like, wow. Now you angry and you jealous because He's with somebody who's outside of his race or he's with somebody who's outside of his country. And you mad at him because he's doing good, but you don't want him. You didn't want him in the first place. You didn't want him in the first place. So why are you mad? Now, when you say that there's a shortage of men, you're really saying there's a shortage of men who's over six feet. And makes over six figures a year because now that will be a shortage. That's facts. That's the truth. There's a shortage of men who's over six feet. There's a shortage of men who makes over six figures and who are over six feet. There's a shortage of those men. That's facts. But there's not a shortage of men who's under five, seven. There's some guys who's 5'7 who's making good money. And then there's guys who's 5'7 who's making average money. But in your mind, a good man is somebody who's over six feet, make over $100,000 a year, drive a Mercedes, a Bentley, or Ferrari. That's a good man to you. To you. There is a shortage of those type of men. And then let's say there's not a shortage. Where would you go to find those type of men? You would not go to the club to find those type of men because they don't go to clubs. You would not go. These type of guys don't hang out. And they only go to certain places. So yeah, it's hard to find a good man because good men they don't really go out to the club like that, man. They're too busy hustling, making money, enjoying life. But really, they're too busy working. They don't have time to party. They don't have time to drink. They don't have time to have fun. 
So yes, there is a shortage of men in this category, six feet up, making over 100K or making over 500K is a shortage of these men. But the other men over here who are under 5'7", who average, who works at Burger King, who works at Subway, it's not a shortage of these men. These men are here. Doesn't mean that they're gonna stay at this level. They may go above that level. They must may may go below that level, but they're over here. But you don't want what's over here. You want what's over here. Good luck to you. May the force be with you.